Tonight, new information about the resignation of Representative Wes Goodman. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Marshall. I'm Mark Taylor. Some have questioned the decisions of House leadership related to how and when Goodman was asked to resign. Ohio State House News and reporter Jason Aubrey walks us through who knew what and when. Setting aside the lurid details of Wes Goodman's personal life, what follows is the official account of how and why he was asked to resign. These alleged screen grabs provided to us by the House of Representatives are of supposed conversations between then candidate Wes Goodman and another person. Those images kick started concerns with the Speaker of the House, Cliff Rosenberger, before Goodman was elected. According to Mike Ditto, the House Chief of Staff, he was asked to talk to Goodman in May of 2016 about rumors the married Goodman was gay and lying about his sexuality. Goodman is a staunch conservative and an adversary to the LGBTQ community. A second meeting was held earlier this summer over more rumors. Ditto says at that time Goodman was warned, we aren't here to pry into your personal life, but if you contact House staff inappropriately in any way or misuse your office, there will be consequences up to and including the speaker calling on you to resign. A few months later, the warning was acted upon. Equality Ohio, an advocate for the LGBTQ community, says Speaker Rosenberger did the right thing by seeking Goodman's resignation on evidence and not rumor and innuendo. I think until there's a, a credible allegation, I think that, that's, that it's totally appropriate for them to pursue the, um, you know, the proper investigatory steps, uh, give the person due process uh, that we would expect in our system of government. Goodman is the third person to resign because of inappropriate behavior since late October. At the State House, Jason Aubrey, NBC4. Two others have already submitted their resignations. Back in October, Republican Senator Cliff Height from Findlay stepped down after admitting to inappropriate behavior and being accused of harassing an employee. Last week, Mike Primo, the chief of staff for Senate Democrats, was asked to resign because of inappropriate conduct towards staff members. 